Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install GOG Galaxy, which is the client software for the GOG website, which is a great place to buy games, especially on the Mac operating system. So the GOG.com storefront is a DRM free storefront, which allows you to buy and download games. And we're going to be downloading GOG Galaxy, which is the piece of software, which is going to allow us to do all of this. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for GOG.com forward slash Galaxy. This brings us to this downloaded page here. If you're on GOG.com, you can also scroll to the very bottom of the page and we can download GOG Galaxy for Mac 2. I'm going to do it from this page here. So here we're going to click the download GOG Galaxy 2.0 and we're going to download this client software. And then we're going to double click on the Galaxy client in order to install it. So I'm going to double click on here and then click continue and then continue and then agree. And then we're going to install it on the Macintosh HD and press continue and then install. We'll type in our password and then this is going to start that installation process. So once that's complete, we're going to click close here. And then we're going to move on to the next step. And here we have the GOG Galaxy, which is just installed. We're going to double click on this now. Then we install the GOG helper tool by typing in our password. Now it's loading GOG Galaxy and we have the client software installed. So for example, if we want to buy a Mac game, we can just scroll to the store button here and then scroll to the bottom. To filter by Mac, we just go to the best selling section here and then we click the show more. This is going to reveal the proper GOG.com interface. What we want to do is to filter by OS X. So this really means the Mac operating system. I'm going to filter this now and it's only going to show us Mac compatible games. So let's say we want to buy a new game. For example, let's say we want to buy Frostpunk. All we need to do is click on the page here and then click add to cart. Once we've added it to cart, we can go ahead to the checkout button here and then we can make a payment for the software and then it's going to appear on the library. So I'm not going to buy this today, but what I'm going to do is to scroll over to the owned games section. And here we have the mix of Windows and also Mac OS games too. There are lots of different titles. If we want to filter by Mac, there's a button here which lets us filter by Mac only. And then we're going to go ahead and download a game. So let's say, for example, I want to download the Banner Saga. So this is a real-time strategy game that's compatible with the Mac operating system. I'm going to click the install button here. I've already purchased it and I'm just going ahead and installing something I've already purchased. So here we're going to click the install button and basically that's going to start a download process. So this is going to depend on the speed of your computer, but basically we just need to make sure that the full download of the 3.21 gigabytes is complete before we can play this game. So once this has finished downloading, we can go ahead and play the game. So I can press this play button here. We can go to install games here and it just shows us all the games that have been installed. I'm going to click on Banner Saga and then click play again. So now we're in the Banner Saga game and we can go ahead and play this as normal. We've downloaded it through the GOG Galaxy client and we can now play this game completely DRM free. The actual game is within the applications folder. We don't actually need the GOG Galaxy open in order to play this game. So I could just close this now if I wanted to and we can just continue playing this as normal. Anyway, that is how you download and install macOS titles on GOG Galaxy. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.